Hi, well, it's quarter past one on the 18th of November. When I was in Vienna over the last few days, I had the privilege of interacting with some astrologers who have been doing astrology for a decade more than me, i.e. 45 years. So, you know, it's a lot of deep astrological experience there. One of the subjects that really came into our talking was the total eclipse of the sun over the UK on the 8th of August 1999 and how that eclipse was still affecting things and probably will con do, continue to do so until 2018, particularly with regard to various establishment figures. Um, I, I kind of expected with the Mars-Pluto conjunction of last week but the, the and nothing happening that the worst would be over, but I've sort of got back from Vienna and actually checked up on a few things, and I'm, I'm extremely concerned. Now, I don't want to get worried, and, I, and I'm not going to name names, but it does seem that the risk over the coming two or three days is exponentially high, and there's a number of different factors for this. The background of this is that Jupiter is on those eclipse points. It's on the 15 degree Leo point where the sun and moon were in the total eclipse of 99. It's opposite the 15 degrees of Aquarius that Uranus was in and the Mars-Saturn opposition of that time with Saturn in Taurus and Mars in Scorpio. Um, but this is only the background. The foreground is a number of set of, a number of, set of astrological factors all coincidental within the same very brief period of time which when added together create a very strong dynamic. So for the astrologically aware of you, here we go. I am looking primarily at two generalised, maybe three generalised factors and it's all centred around November the 22nd. There is a new moon on November the 22nd, sun conjunct moon and it's taking place at zero degrees seven minutes of Sagittarius. The moon is half a degree wide, so is the sun. So at the moment of new moon, both uh, maybe 75% of the sun and the moon will be into Sagittarius, but 25% of them will still be in Scorpio. And I wonder if this is the very end of the Scorpion sting, but there might be a Scorpion sting as both the sun and the moon exits 29 degrees of Scorpio. Um, Sorry about that. Um, at the same time, we're looking at a situation where Saturn is approaching opposition to Algol. And by this, I mean that both the Sun and Saturn are opposite Algol today. The Sun, in fact, is opposite Algol in about five hours' time. Saturn will be opposite Algol at five. The 53 UK time in the morning on the 22nd of November. This is followed in about just under five hours from that by the new moon. At the time that Saturn is conjunct Algol, opposite Algol, I'm sorry, the moon will still be at 29 degrees of Scorpio. The sun will still be in Scorpio. Something's brewing at this time, and if I needed further amplification of this, I then looked at the minor asteroids. I do follow a number of the minor asteroids simply out of interest and what I saw chilled me. Um, as of today, this morning, the asteroid Icarus, he who flies too close to the sun and plunges to earth in fire, is two thirds of one degree away from hitting Pluto. Icarus is moving one third of a degree a day, so he will pass over Pluto tomorrow, maybe tomorrow night. At the moment of the new moon, Icarus is half a degree past Pluto, but half a degree before Uranus, exactly on the Uranus-Pluto square. So we've got Uranus, he who flies too close to the sun, conjunct Pluto, death and rebirth. In Capricorn, the sign of government, on the new moon, which is at the very edge of Scorpio and Sagittarius, on the sting of the scorpion's tail, if you like, metaphorically speaking, and the same day as Saturn is opposite Caput Algol, the star that specifically relates to decapitation. So many phenomena within a few hours of each other. 
I should have spotted this years ago or weeks ago. I didn't, I spotted it this morning. Thank you to the astrologers in Vienna who alerted me to this and to the potential implications, which I choose not to voice now because I've spoken about this too much in the past, in the last month or so. But, oh goodness, these are crazy times. And I will be really delighted once we are firmly into, once Saturn has moved into Sagittarius. Saturn, my friend, can you hurry up now, please? Okay, catch you later. Bye.